What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. Just finished with the Special Masters video. Went back, reread the whole thing again, get, keeping the context of it all, moving forward to the next letter, which came from the judge. This is the letter that caused all the controversy. Let's take a look at what the judge says and how she continues to spank AMC and Allegheny's ass and she thanks the Special Mastery for bringing it to her attention. First, she says, Dear counsel and interested parties. Now, one person pointed out to me that that includes me. I'm an interested party. I'm like, yes, you're an interested party. Okay, what does she have to say? The special master has filed her report and recommendations addressing motions for access to the discovery in this matter. It is attached to this letter. Okay, the special master's report. As you know, who? Dear counsel and interested parties, the deadline for submitting objections to the settlement is May 31st, 2023. Just a reminder, in view of that deadline, any notice of exceptions to the special master's report must be filed by midnight tonight. Now, that is Allegheny and AMC. If they oppose anything that the special master has said, they have until midnight. They say, well, I'm an interested party. I get to do it too. Be cool. Let's read the letter. Please feel free to attach a letter in support. Now, that threw me for a loop there, and I had to stop. Because I'm thinking to myself, why would Allegheny and AMC file a letter in support of the special master's recommendation and it had went completely against them. And I, I couldn't get past that. I said, why would they file a letter of support? And then it says, because, and I don't want to slaughter their names, these three men right here, all right, have historically sent their filings by mail. I ask that on this occasion, they, they who, these three men, email any notice of exceptions and letters of support to Mr. Barry at M. Barry and gives the email address for him to do it. Now, let's take a look at that. What did she just say? She said, in view of the deadline, she's in a hurry, she don't want to change her deadline, that if you object or you support the special master's recommendation, you had until midnight. Who? These three men. Who are these three men? Well, if you look right up here, one is Ethan, one is Uncle Frank, and I don't know why they threw Al from Boston's bitch ass in there, because in the next letter she talks about Al from Boston like I told y'all she would. But in this particular case, she gave Uncle Frank, and she gave Ethan, and she gave this third-party person I'm sure works with them, they have until midnight on the 19th to have contacted the court with an objection or a letter of support to the special master. That had nothing to do with me and you. That is between the plaintiffs, the defendants, and these three men. Rather, they approve what the special master had to say or not. Because it's about the three of them. All right, she goes on to say, if this arrangement is not workable, I ask the plaintiff's counsel to work with these three men, Uncle Frank and Ethan and the third guy, and come up with a different arrangement. If any exceptions are received, the court will hold a telephone hearing tomorrow. If any exceptions are received from who? Allegheny, AMC, or the three men that are listed that she's talking to people, not me and you. We don't have a dog in this fight. This is strictly between them and the special master and the judge. But she will let us listen in, and she gave us the number for us to listen to. So you see any confusion that had been ar arose from this letter right here? It was simply from not taking the time to stop and read it and comprehend what the judge was saying. She said, Dear counsel and interested parties, these three men, historically filed by mail, but I'm asking these three men 
to file electronically it one way or the other to the special master's recommendation. Had nothing to do with me and you. But we could go to the meeting. And we did. And she recognized somebody else in that meeting. Let's see if it says it here. It don't. Okay, it's in the next document. In the next document, she recognizes another uh, shareholder who's there on the line. And we'll talk about that in the next video when she does her response to nobody filed an objection and nobody filed a motion for support. Apparently, you know, they were busy and didn't see the memo. Love y'all. Be blessed. And I'll get with y'all on what the judge had to say about it all in the next video.